H8 error right here. And I believe on these Bosch units, if I recall, that is a pressure transducer fault. So um, how you actually troubleshoot pressure transducers, and if you can imagine, these units are doing much the same that our gauges do. It's actually watching the ambient outdoor temperature, the coal temperature, our temperatures on our lines, and the pressure transducers are actually watching the refrigerant pressure. And as it's doing all that, it's using that information to decide how to modulate the compressor and the fan mode on this guy to better accommodate for whatever particular load is going on. So, to check the transducer here, I believe we're looking for C16, which is this little red, red, black, and white plug-in here. So we want to go over to DC mode, and if we look between, I believe it's red, red and black, if I remember, we should see somewhere between uh, 4.5 and 5 volts DC we're seeing um, 4.9. So if we weren't seeing that, that would tell us we had a board issue. Since we are, that tells us we have an issue with possibly the transducer itself. So the way we check that is we go back between the white and black wires here. And we'll just see we're showing 0.03, which honestly, that would tell me that uh, more than likely we're out of range. Uh, what this transducer is actually doing is I believe it's a piezoelectric or piezo resistive rather little uh, uh, tension gauge essentially. So we've got a diaphragm pushing up against it and it has that little uh, piezoelectric or resistive piece rather deforms, you know, stretches, moves a little bit, it changes the resistance in it and that will give us a pressure reading once you calculate how much voltage you get through it. And I believe if I can find my so yes, according to our chart, uh, 0 0.5 volts would show us that we were essentially at zero pressure. So we'll check our pressure. But honestly, uh, anything below that 0 0.5 volts would tell us we have a problem with our transducer because it should never be able to fall that 